Hey everybody, I've got a uh, 60s Smith Corona Electra 120. Um, great typewriter. If you are looking for a typewriter for kids or you're just entering the typewriter world, boom, you need a typewriter like this because they're so easy to use. It's got a fun purple color. This is not the original color. We painted it and it looks amazing, this deep um, jewel tone purple, but it's actually a two tone because we've got the, the kind of the lilac color up here as well. Okay, also this would be great for crafters because it's got the 12 inch carriage and when you're doing your crafty type person, you never know what kind of project you're gonna think up of. And so this just gives you flexibility in case you need a larger piece of paper or you wanna type landscape mode and versus portrait mode. It just gives you that flexibility. Okay, so it is an electric typewriter with a manual return, which means you have to plug it in. There are no batteries for typewriters, sorry to say, or charger packs. This is your power switch right down here, your color selector, because yes, this does come with a two color ribbon. You can get more ribbons on our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. Oh, by the way, please just give me a thumbs up on this video. That really helps us when we get likes, makes me smile, thanks. And it kind of lets me know that all my hard work is helpful um, to you guys. Okay, and then shop our website. We've got, not only do we have our vintage typewriters, which are every Saturday morning, we do new vintage typewriter listings. If you're interested in a typewriter, I recommend going Saturday morning because they do sell out very quickly. But we also have typewriter pads, typewriter ribbons, including custom ribbons, like you can send us your spool and we'll wrap it for you. Um, and then we have dust covers and we have typewriter art coming um, the second week of March, 2021. We're very excited about that. So thanks so much for supporting us. It helps us bring these videos to you. Okay, on the Lecture 120, this is, like I said, this one has a 12 inch carriage. Here's your paper holder because this is where your paper goes and the paper tends to flop over. So this comes in really handy. Margins, just press and drag your carriage to move the carriage. There's a lever on each side, you press that in. The carriage will move only as far as you have the margins set. That bell is what tells you you're at the end of your margin and you need to hit this return handle to go to the next line. And then your line selector is gonna be right here, one, two, or three lines, depending on your preference. And then if for some reason you have lined paper or you're filling out a form and the lines just aren't working for you, you there's a little metal bar right here and it's hard to see in the video, but see my finger going along this return handle right here. Boom, you press that down, that releases it. And then that way you can line things up very easily. Just make sure you re-engage or else when you hit the return handle, it's just not gonna uh, advance very well. Okay, so um, let's move this carriage to the left because I'm gonna open up this top and I don't want the return handle to scrape the top. Please remember that. we. If for those of you that are new to typewriters, that's so easy to forget and you try to open up the top and then your handle scrapes the top and then it makes you sad and we don't like it when you're sad. So just remember to move your carriage to the left. Open up this top inside, you'll see a fresh ribbon. We always put new ribbons in our typewriters. By the way, please be careful when buying typewriters and I'll have a, Check our YouTube videos. Um, I am doing a video for you on what to look for when buying a typewriter. There's some people who buy them, they throw them on Etsy and eBay without doing anything to them and charge you ridiculous amounts of money. And then um, you guys come crying to us and it makes us sad again. And we don't wanna be sad, we don't want you to be sad. Okay, new ribbon. 
Um, everything looks really clean in here. We've tested our typewriters. We've cleaned them up. We've serviced and repaired them so that they're working. The only thing we don't do, and it's clearly described in our um, listings, is we do not replace parts. Okay, so we get it into a working condition, but we don't, I mean, sometimes we do, but we're really not gonna tell you that because then we start getting into refurbishing and restoring. But refurbished typewriters have parts that have been replaced and um, that's when your typewriter costs really skyrocket because it's very labor intensive and there's few people in this country that can repair typewriters much less replace the parts or put them in like they were new so that's why typewriter vintage typewriters are expensive okay where was i ribbon black on top red on bottom when you choose change it you just lift it out press it in super easy make sure the ribbon is threaded properly you can look at up close photos on the product listing which is in the description below you'll find that link so that you can reference the photo when you're changing out your ribbon which is the reason why a lot of you are watching this okay um you do not have to even though this typewriter takes a two color ribbon you don't have to because as someone reminded me and yes we do this too if it's just a single black ribbon, you can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, use up that black ink, and then you can flip the spools upside down and then use, you go back and forth, back and forth. You can basically double the use of your ribbon if you buy a single black ribbon instead of the two color. Now, you do need to manually return this ribbon, because, uh, reverse this ribbon, because when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink, you reverse the direction, um like 30 40 50 times before you need to replace it and to do that is right here it says rib rev back and forth you go until you've just used up all of the ink in that ribbon okay this is your tab set clear color selector power switch copy set just determines how hard these strike bars hit your paper let's go ahead and do a typing demo all right, I'm going to move my margins in. I just like them narrow only for demo purposes. This is a paper guide in case you just want to help load your paper straight. Or in the same place, if you're doing multiple pages, you really want to use your paper guide. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this on and start typing. 1960s. Oops. Hold on. Oh, I like the feel of this. Have you ever seen that gif with the kid going, ah. uh, yeah, this one, I like it, I like it, I like it very much. Mucho, mucho, okay, tab, oops, oh, backspace. Backspace does not erase, but it comes in handy when you make a mistake, and you will make mistakes, and you know what? It's okay, dokay. You just keep going. Ooh, you guys, this is a good one. Mama, I like this typewriter. Holy smokes, guys, this is really good. Okay three auto repeat buttons on this typewriter your dash period x you just hold them down okay same with the space bar if you want a um, power space you just hold it down okay oh, we we're at the end of the margin there okay let's go ahead and keep typing you are a fast typist you need this typewriter. Oh, I made a mistake. What do you do? Backspace, backspace, backspace. Type over it. Keep going. Let's try the red.
There's the bell. Normally it would say, hey, hit that return handle, but I'm gonna keep going and so you can see what it does. Stops on me, hit MR, margin release. Finish my word, go to the next line. Okay, you guys, I just don't even know what else to say other than this is uh, pretty darn awesome. So I would snag it in a hurry if I were you. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.